We're about to invest deeply in local organizing around local reparations policy and local reparations task force. And that's a way to get some people involved at the local level in a very real way where it seems real, it seems concrete, it seems tangible, it seems doable, and it engages them in ways that other issues might not, in ways that Medicaid expansion might not, in ways that um, you know maybe even uh, police accountability may not. But you've got some segment that reparations will get them involved and at least get them in the conversation and showing up. It'll get them seeing the ways that elected officials matter in their life on this issue that they're already passionate about. And so once they get engaged in some level in these reparations discussions, whether it's a reparations town hall or a task force meeting, or maybe it's a ballot initiative just to even get reparations established as a thing in their city or their county. Once they get involved at that level, then they can get involved more deeply in voting in a range of other things or not voting in other things, but just building power in a bunch of other ways. Right. But we believe that once somebody gets engaged on a very specific issue that's very real to them, then their world of civic engagement and electoral organizing um, will just become a whole new thing and become a way of life for them.